Hello everyone, today I will be assembling a drone for you my friends. And it will not be just a drone, but a practical complete set for getting started with FPV. All instructions for the giveaway will be at the end of the video. And with this, I want to note the fact that there are already more than 1000 of you on this channel. And at the time of editing the video, there were already almost 1400. I have long wanted to assemble a very light 65mm drone without prop guard on a carbon frame. And for this I have an AIO 4-in-1 ELRS light and 0702 motors at 23,000 kV, all from Beta FPV. Just solder the motors as I have already soldered ELRs. Don't forget that any external hardware is soldered RX to TX and TX to RX. But how we solder the motors makes no difference. We will still reconfigure the motor directions in Beta Flight. And yes, the components are not of top level, but I do everything on my own, without sponsors or company support, so I decided that it's better this way than not at all, especially since the whole set will go to one of you absolutely free of charge, and I will cover all shipping costs. Of course, there may be problems with delivery to some countries, but I will do my best to deliver this gift. Now we screw everything to the 65mm frame from Oddity RC. To keep this drone light, we use plastic screws and plastic nuts. For the motors, I use peak screws, but I will also put titanium screws for the motors. With them, the weight will be half a gram heavier, but the reliability will be higher because this is what happened after a few crashes. Peak screws simply cut off because the stiffness of the carbon frame is much higher than that of plastic and all the load goes to the screws. Therefore, we only use peak screws for cruise flights or if you fly so professionally that you don't crash. I use an antenna from Happy Model without a metal tube because it is almost a gram lighter. and props I will install from HQ Props. All that remains is to configure everything in beta flight and for this I simply use the CLI from Air 65. All we need to do is change the flight controller position in the configuration tab. Return to the setup tab to check that the drone's position matches the actual one and be sure to calibrate the gyroscope. Next, I will set up the rates for myself, but if necessary, I will change the settings according to the wishes of the winner of this drone. And of course, we need to check the motors and change their order. It's easy, just mark the motor that's spinning, save it and then check the direction of rotation to make sure it's right. All the props should be spinning outward. With motors this small, you don't have to take off the propellers to check the rotation. All that remains is to configure the OSD and check the controls. Welcome to HTX. We finished the setup, so let's check how much this little thing weighs.
The dry weight is only 16 grams, which is lighter than the new B drone race spec and even lighter than the Air 65, despite the carbon frame. With the 300 milliamp hour battery, the weight is 24.4 grams. Let's see what else I'll put in this set. There's a two Tatu 300 milliamp hour batteries and a Beta FPV charger for two batteries. An antenna with an iron tube provides slightly better signal, although for me, an antenna without such a tube is quite sufficient. Titanium motor screws, as I said, they are a little heavier, but much more reliable, and since this is a drone without prop guard, you will most likely often hit the motors during crashes, which can cause them to fail, so I will put a couple of extra motors so you can replace them. And yes, you need to know how to solder for this, but I think if you've been in FPV for a long time, it won't be a problem for you, and if you're a beginner, you definitely need to learn this skill, because it's definitely necessary if you want to stay in this hobby for a long time. The set also includes a screwdriver so you can move everything to another frame if you want and of course another frame already with ducts. This frame is from Sub 250 and in my opinion it is the best 65mm frame at the moment. It is as light as the frame from Newbie Drone, weighing only 2.4 grams but it has a good battery mount, unlike that frame. And that's how easy it is to replace this frame. I will also include a spare canopy which will provide a little more protection and a mount for the antenna with the tube. I will also include a cable to connect the flight controller to better flight. The weight of this frame is even less, only 15.76 grams. Let's switch the frame back to carbon and test this drone. While I'm flying the warm-up battery, I'll tell you how you can win this drone. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and leave a comment under this Instagram post about the drone giveaway. In your comment, tag two of your friends, and of course, don't forget to like the post. That's it, you're entered in the giveaway. On December 1st, I will randomly select a winner from among those who left a comment under the Instagram post and fulfill all the rules, and I will send you this drone set with two frames, batteries, a charger, and everything else I showed in the set. Now let's get back to flying. So far, I can only note that despite its light weight, the hovering throttle is higher than on a plastic frame, 40 to 45 percent versus 35 to 40 percent. I think this is due to the fact that the carbon frame creates more resistance to airflow from the props because of its larger surface area compared to a plastic frame. In cruise flight, the flight time is approximately 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Now that I've warmed up a bit, let's try flying more aggressively.
case the flight time is reduced by 1 minute and is now 2 minutes and 30 seconds. In mixed flight it is approximately 3 minutes. Thank you all friends for staying with me, write in the comments whether you like this drone or not. Don't forget to subscribe, follow the terms of the giveaway and maybe you will become the owner of this excellent set. In my opinion this is a great drone for training both at home and outside and it's especially cool for those who want to get into FPV but still can't make up the minds. You'll just need to buy a remote controller and goggles which can cost less than $100. Bye bye and see you soon.